Hello everyone, Namaste. Welcome back to my channel Academic Tuber. Today we are going to discuss Unit 12 from Grade 10 Science that is Universe. Before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel and for more updates, hit the bell icon. If you want more videos related to this, please like and do share this video among your friends and also don't forget to give your valuable response in comment section. Universe We have discussed various celestial bodies in the previous graves as well. The vast area around us is called the universe. There are many celestial bodies in the universe including the planets, stars, comets, satellites, meteors, meteorites, asteroids, etc. A group of many stars forms a galaxy. The solar system is located in the Milky Way galaxy. The universe is a huge region. Even science has not yet been able to obtain concrete information about the size, origin and spread of the universe. There are some very large celestial bodies in the universe. Their mass is also very large, but some celestial bodies are very small too. Their mass is also less. Some of them are in gaseous state and some are in the solid state. Celestial bodies have been named as stars, planets, satellites, baby planets, comets, meteors, meteorites, etc. Due to the gravitational force of attraction, every celestial body including the planets, satellites and stars is held in its position. The collective name of all these celestial bodies is the universe. Astronomers at different times have proposed various theories about the origin of the universe. But among them, the Big Bang theory is considered to be the most reliable one. According to this theory, all celestial bodies in the universe are moving. Hubble's history of the movement of this celestial body is important due to the gravitational force that exists between these moving celestial bodies. Different hypotheses such as the open universe, closed universe, and the flat universe have been propounded about the future of the universe. Importance of gravitational force in the universe For the origin, existence, and future of the universe, the gravitational force as well as uh, the gravitational force plays a very important role. Any heavenly body remains in its form till there is a balance in a gravitational force on it. When some sort of imbalance in the gravitational force is created on any heavenly body, the body begins to change its form. It is the gravitational force which keeps the heavenly bodies at their proper place, forms and location. Origin and expansion of the universe is also the product of the force of the gravity on them. Importance of gravitational force in the universe can be enlisted as given below. Formation of new star and planets orbit of planets and satellites, origin of energy in the core of stars or nuclear fusion, modification of heavenly bodies that is change in the forms of heavenly bodies, death of stars, maintenance of the size of stars, expansion of the universe. Big Bang Theory The Big Bang Theory is the prevailing cosmological model for the universe birth. It says that 13.8 billion years ago, all the space was contained in a single point of very high density and high temperature state from which the universe has been expanding in all directions ever since. It is shown in the figure as well. It is believed that all the members of our universe were created from a huge explosion called Big Bang. According to this theory, all the matters of the universe was originally concentrated in a vast lump called primeval atom which was 100 light years wide. This highly dense and extremely hot mass exploded with a big bang about 15 billion years ago and the matter started flying all directions throughout the space forming galaxies, stars, planets, satellites and other heavenly bodies. Now we are only 15 billion years after Big Bang explosion and it is believed that the universe is expanding continuously and it will continue in the future as well. 
Hubble's law. It has been discovered that the galaxy in space are moving away from each other. In 1929 BC, the American astronomer Edwin Hubble tried to calculate the velocity of various galaxies using the 100-inch Hooker telescope on the Mount Wilson. During his research, he discovered that every galaxy is moving away from other galaxies. His estimated so that the farther the celestial bodies are from the Earth, the smaller they appear, and they also have greater velocities. Hubble's law is said that galaxies are constantly moving away from the Earth at velocities proportional to their distance. In other words, the universe is constantly expanding. This law is considered as the first observational basis for the expansion of universe and today serves as one of the pieces of evidence that supports Big Bang Theory. Hubble plotted velocity of constellations against their distance on a graph and explained the relationship between the velocity of the constellation and their distance. This relation is represented by the equation V equals to HD, which is also known as Hubble's law, where V is the velocity of galaxy in kilometer per second, H is the Hubble constant in kilometer per uh, per second per megaparsec d is the distance of the galaxy in megaparsec a megaparsec is a unit of measurement equal to 1 million parsec or 3.26 million light year megaparsec is a common uh, expression uh, mpc it is a common expression for megaparsec the value of our concern is 72 kilometer per second megaparsec this means if any two galaxies are at a distance of 1 megaparsec, they are separating away from each other with a velocity of 73 km per second. If the distance between any two galaxies is expressed in parsec and then multiplied by Hubble's constant, the velocity with which these galaxies are moving away from each other is obtained. Based on such calculation, we came to know that the galaxies are moving far away very quickly. It can also be known from the Hubble's equation that is farther the galaxy are, the faster they are separating. Hubble's constant. It is defined as the unit of measurement which is used for describing the expansion of the universe. Rate shift it is the phenomenon or process in which an object's wavelength increases due to electromagnetic radiations. Blue shift is opposite to a ray shift where the energy increases due to shorter wavelengths, which are also known as the negative ray shift. Doppler effect it is the movement of object either closer or apart from apart from each other in a space. So, what is Hubble's law useful? Hubble's law is used for understanding the motion of astronomical object due to the expansion of the universe. This was first used for studying the expansion of the universe and is used as the evidence for the Big Bang model. Next question. In what situation does Hubble law not apply? Hubble's law is not applicable for understanding the motion of stars in the Milky Way galaxy or other heavenly bodies in the solar system. It is applicable to distant galaxies. Next one. Why is Hubble's law so important? Hubble's law is considered to be so important because the value of the Hubble's constant S, which is used for determining the exact age of the universe. It also helps in understanding dark matter and dark energy. Next question. Why is Hubble's constant uncertain? Hubble's constant is said to be uncertain as the constant changes with the time. As the constant changes with time. However, the expansion of the universe is constant throughout the space and at every location. This is the reason why it is called the Hubble's constant. Predicting the future of the universe. The future of the universe depends on the density of matter and the effect of gravity on it. So, if you know its density, we should be able to predict the shape and future of the universe. Our predictions are based on two major assumptions. The law of physics are the same everywhere in the universe and the part of universe that we can see is typical of the whole universe. Critical density. The ratio of mass to volume is called density. The net magnitude of the gravitational force depends on the average density of the universe. The average density of the universe required to each of the expanding universe which could be 
after billions of years is called critical density. The future of the universe. There are three possible scenarios depending on how the density of universe compares to its critical density. The future of the universe will be determined by the ba balance of its Big Bang expansion and the effect of gravity on its mass. Predict the outcome if the universe is more denser than critical density, less dense than critical density and equal to critical density. Closed universe. So here is a diagram showing the closed universe. If the density of the universe is greater than critical density, gravity will be strong enough to stop its expansion and reverse it. And the universe may be thought of as closed like the surface of a sphere. Future of closed universe. Eventually, uh, gravity will cause a closed universe to collapse back in on itself, ending in a big crunch. The orange curve represents the evolution of a closed universe. Note, big crunch is the phenomenon in which the vast universe filled with unlimited mass and energy will at one point shrink and collapse. Open universe. So this is a diagram showing the open universe. If the density of the universe is less than critical density, gravity will be too weak to stop its expansion. The universe will continue to expand forever at an ever decreasing rate and the universe can be thought of as being curved like the space like the surface of Saturn. The future of open universe. As the universe continues to expand, all stars and galaxies will exhaust their energy. Here is a graph showing the open universe. The universe will cool down ending in a big chill. The blue curve represents the evolution of an open universe. Flat universe. If the density of the universe is equal to the critical density, gravity is just sufficient to stop its expansion. But only after an infinite time and the universe can be thought of as being flat. The future of flat universe. A flat universe will also continue to expand at an ever decreasing rate but slower than the open universe. Here is a graph showing the flat universe. The green curve represents the evolution of a flat universe. Most cosmologists favor this as the predicted future of the universe. Cosmologists believe that the universe contains radiation, bryonic, ordinary matter, dark matter and dark energy. Radiation consists of massless or nearly massless particles that travel at the speed of light, such as photons and neutrinos. Next one is bryonic matter. Bryonic matter is ordinary matter such as protons, neutrons and electrons. Next one is dark matter. Dark matter is composed of particles that do not absorb, reflect or emit light, so they cannot be detected by observing electromagnetic radiations. Dark energy. Dark energy is a hypothetical form of energy that exerts a negative repulsive pressure behaving like the opposite of gravity. As with the dark matter, there is no general agreement on what dark energy really is. This leads to a fourth possible scenario for the future of the universe that is expanding at an accelerating rate. The galaxy that we see now will recede out of sight one by one. Ten of billions of years from now, the Milky Way will be the only galaxy we will be able to see. Our sun will have shrunk to a white dwarf star that will provide little light and heat to the Earth. Stars will slowly burn out and collapse into black holes. The universe will be a vast, empty, dark and cold place. Singularity Singularity describes the center of a black hole, a point of infinite density and gravity within which no objects inside can ever escape, not even light. Next one, a delicate equilibrium. A delicate equilibrium is the equilibrium in which gravity pulling inward and the pressure of radiating heat outward are balanced. It makes the size of a star constant. By this we have completed notes of this unit.
यूनिवर्स आई होप दिस वीडियो वॉज यूजफुल टू यू इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज ड्रॉप द कॉमेंट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन सी ऑन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू